so this is how the entire room looks and uh, I will take you to all the corners of this room and for that let us just zoom in and start from that corner so if we start with the first drawer on this big L unit we will just open it and uh, this one stores all my mini ink cubes I have uh, this the distress ink mini cubes the alternate cubes and even uh, my distress uh, ink crayon distress crayons are here so this is like one of my one of my favorites all my gina k ink cubes are here in this tin holds container then if we come to the cabinet just uh, under this i have all my extra supplies i have my vr Chem vr memory keepers uh, boards and a few other supplies like cinch and uh, which are used for my kids projects the shelf next to it this is this is my little shizu so this shelf holds all all my a3 size paper pads my nina is all stocked here and all the basic papers which i need these are the bigger rolls of sheets which i use for school projects then the second drawer mostly keeps all these uh, resins and embellishments these are all the embellishments and the drops by uh, your next stamp and various other companies these also have the refills and some replacement blades so this is just a fun drawer i want to keep and all my sequins and everything is here with few markers this is a very pretty looking drawer so now coming to the next drawer this is the most functional one it stores all my big scissors my tim Holtz scissors fiskers the tiny bee tiny honey bee the cutting tools all my pens especially the jelly roll pen then all the microns which i use the black one extra tools equipment and some various kinds of tapes so these two drawers are my absolute favorite this one holds all my watercolor supplies and uh, for example these are the daniel smith all the prima the alternate then uh, this is my Dan this is my daniel smith these are my daniel smith colors i've stored them in the alternate pan these are my alternate pans then uh, my Dr. P. H. Martins, My Jello Mission, PLS, Koi, all these are here. I also keep a watercolor paper pad here so that if I want to check any of the shades, I can do it here before I put them on my project. The next is an absolute delight. These hold all other uh, coloring mediums like my Arteza pencils. Basically, all the pencils are here. These are the PLS uh, watercolors the Prima pencils, the Inktense pencil, my Prismacolor pencils are here, then uh, my Karen Diage, these are here, then the Faber-Castell and the Derwent. So all these are here. Let me know if you want to see the detailed uh, collection of all my coloring mediums. The last one holds all my uh, current projects and uh, this drawer is full of all the cards I've done. Next to it is uh, another important uh, drawer which has all my rulers and uh, tapes like these which need to be very handy and my favorite uh, glue which is the Gina K Connect glue. The next drawer is also an essential. This holds my apron when I'm doing some messy work and this uh, pad which I use when I stamp. Next to it is a very fun looking drawer, which is full of all my washi tape. And I have not changed anything in this and I just love collecting it. So these are just, this collection is just growing day by day. Next, we come to this drawer, which is also a very functional. I've kept these drawers next to me so that I can quickly grab my essential products. So this has all the Misties, and I totally love them. I also keep my acrylic blocks here. They're here, and all my sponge daubers, my Imagine Craft are here. These tiny daubers, which I absolutely love, 
my label maker is here my uh, extra label maker refills are here so this is a drawer full of util utilities under this this is another very good looking drawer which has all my uh, distress inks i'm i've not really collected all the new distress oxides but i just have few then i've kept my ink for refresher here in case i want to spray it all my distress stains and reinkers are there then this is another favorite drawer this is the drawer full of imagine supplies i'm a design team member for uh, design for imagine craft and all my wonderful supplies are kept here so this goes here, all the lovely products by imagine crafts the next one is again inks and i love collecting all types of inks here are the alt new inks the catherine puller inks then these are some hero art inks which my daughter uses then some uh, then almost all the stamping up pads stamping up pads all the prima pads so they are like this is a deep drawer and it is just loaded with all the beautiful ink pads this is the more this is the most glittery shimmery beautiful drawer and i have all the beautiful embossing powders right here by imagine by gina and uh, by ranger so this is there and all the beautiful glitter shimmers by judikens lawn fawn and just my craft supplies they're all here these are all the beautiful glitters by martha stewart then i have uh, martha stewart uh, embossing powders and all my beautiful stickers are right here so this is like a it's like a candy store and i totally love this under this is a drawer which has my cadence products and uh, my bigger tools so all my cadence brushes and tools these are all the supplies uh, by cadence i love doing uh, mixed media and i love exploring different kind of uh, techniques so this is that drawer so here in this drawer i have all my sequins uh, kept nicely in this and all my bigger trimmers are here all the finished projects which are just there if i want to gift it to somebody they are kept there now we will be talking about we'll be looking into this section and we'll be talking about what all is here so once i open this drawer this cabinet it holds my big big shot my cuttle bug all its plates my folio is right here and all my photography supplies are right here nicely stored accessible to use then this is just a drawer which is full of all my necessary things my stationery in general like my glue my stapler and not a very fun looking drawer come so now talking about this uh, short side of the L, it has my Mac and uh, my laptop here. So I usually do all my editing and I also love, in, love listening to music. So my music player is here. My Mink machine is installed here and uh, this is usually my workspace. So I also write things and my husband also uses this space at times. So uh, here is this beautiful wall of inks and uh, colors and I totally love it. So, so here are all my memento inks, then uh, my lawn fawn inks, my Gina K inks, all my, here are all my archival inks, then my uh, Versafine, my Delicata, then my stays on pigments, stays on clear inks, then uh, my Gina K inks and lawn fawn and so many beautiful other inks. Then on top, I have my uh, lovely stamps. This uh, is my personalized stamp, my address, then a few of my butterflies. Then these are the chocolate tints which I altered. This is a cute little avocado a friend gifted me. And these are all the Prima color blooms. I don't do a lot of mixed media, but uh, this really makes this wall so much prettier. So I've arranged all, all of them in a rainbow order. Those are all my PH Martin's uh, inks and uh, so these are all the PH Martin inks and uh, some of these Prima inks as well. I totally love these and I uh, uh, can't recommend them enough. Here is an autograph by Tim Holes and uh, so I totally love it and I've, I've kept it there. This is my uh, 
shooting arm and I've kept it there. This is my little daughter and uh, the vagabond is kept right there. So this wall has all my Martha Stewart punches and I totally love this. So now if we talk about this long L unit and the upper cabinet, it's beautiful and I have kept everything open so that I can really use and see what my supplies are. So uh, let's start with the first one. This has my uh, memento markers and my distress markers. Then this has some of my leather paints here. Then this is a beautiful stuff and I just did a course in sculpture painting and these are all my beautiful paints, a beautiful plaster. Then these are all my alternate new markers. I love doing alcohol marker coloring and these are beautiful and excellent. Then here are my chalks, uh, paint, chalk paints and uh, some decoupage stuff. These are the pens. Then these, this is my most prized possession. They, have, they are the entire collection of uh, Copic markers and uh, I totally, totally love that. These are some uh, uh, spray bursts by Lindy Stam Gang. Then these are the impasto paints by uh, Prima. Then I have some distress paints, then some more inks, some more PH Martin stuff. So these are the Bombay inks by Dr. PH Martin. These are the brushes, then my distress sprays, my dilution sprays. I basically use all these different kind of mediums and turn them into watercolors and that's what I really enjoy doing. These are my uh, acrylic paints and sparks by Finnabair. Then again, some distress ink pads, some beautiful Gina K designs and Thermoweb uh, glitter gel and uh, some peerless metallic paints. Right here are my new wardrobes which look so beautiful and they really make this shelf look even prettier. These are some flakes and some more, uh, some more fun supplies by Fina Bear. This is just uh, decor and I did this alteration on an old teacup. These are all my watercolor papers and I love using, this is my favorite, Arches is my favorite and uh, I have the Canson, then Prima, Strathmore, all these are here and these are all my organizers. So this is, uh, these are my Erin Condren organizers and then extra stuff. So coming here, this is, uh, these are all my most used dies which I use to finish my cards and I keep them handy. This is my die cutting machine, the Gemini Junior and uh, these are the plates and here are all the uh, little sampling I have done. So this is right here. So then this is the drawer and it has my old wooden stamps and I've just kept them for aesthetics. Here are all my dies in the art bin containers and there are some more dies and tools. So this is a lovely place to store everything and very accessible. So moving on the work area, I have this tonic uh, Tim Holtz glass mat. This is an absolutely wonderful tool to have. I've adhered my uh, silicone mat and I can just place it anywhere. So I love doing water coloring and I do all, all of it, all the mess, and I do all the mess right here. This is uh, a container which stores all my supplies recommended by Jennifer. This is, uh, this is the place where I store my tidy towel. And uh, so this is very handy and useful. So with this, we finished this long unit and now let's move on to so if we open this this stores all my pattern papers and uh, i love collecting them this has all the various marion smith peon hartfeld tcwv lawn fawn and beautiful indian stores as well so this is here this is my scan and cut i use it a lot so in this drawer, I have all the accessories related to my uh, silhouette as well as my brother's cannon cut. 
So all my cutting plates are right here. Then all the thermoware, beautiful Gina K designs and thermoware foils are right here. And all my extra blades and uh, all these lovely mink uh, and deco foil transfer gel and all these stuff related to these two machines are kept here. These are two very interesting drawers and uh, in these, are, these are three beautiful drawers full of Prima products and uh, the first one is has all these ATC cards, then flowers and inks, edgers, then all the metallics, then all these beautiful other supplies like gesso, texture paste and gold crackle and I totally love it. So all these beautiful pearls are stored here. In the next one, I have all these beautiful flowers by Prima and I, it's really hard to use them because they're so pretty. The next one has all the finabare elements and the metallic uh, elements like these. So finabare as well as some of the Ranger products are here. I have all my miniatures also stored here. These are some beautiful miniatures. And uh, a lot of resin pieces also by Prima. So these are all stored here nicely. So this is the beautiful window and there's a cabinet next to this. If I open this, this has all my smaller sheets of paper. All the A4 size papers and 6x6 cardstock is stored here. This is my silhouette and uh, I totally love this. And under this, I have all my metallic embellishments stored in these little jars and I use them all the time. This is very convenient, so I just store them, I've labeled them and I store it right here. Then under this, these are again three drawers. The first, the first one has uh, all these little embellishments and uh, this kind of lilies stamp gang magicals and perfect pearls and some more waxes these are some reinkers my memento reinkers and all are here then all these glimmer pastes so this is a very this is a drawer which is occasionally used these are all my this is this is my life-changing uh, blending brushes so that i've kept the bigger ones next to me these are all the stencils i have from various companies and they're all here because I do use them a lot so this is the adhesive uh, stencil adhesive so I've kept all these supplies here these are the big Sizzix dies this makes the drawer very very heavy the last one is just full of some random supplies like resin and uh, uh, this is a gel which can make, help you make molds and some random mod podge and everything. So moving ahead, this is the most beautiful uh, furniture piece in this room and this stores all my stamps. So I have all my favorite stamps stored right here in the cabinet and it's again open whenever a product from a particular brand uh, is received. I just label them or tuck them in this cabinet. So I've labeled them like this has my Simon Say stamp supplies, my lawn fawn, alt new, Gina K, and all these beautiful other things. So this is very handy. I just go through it and pick my supplies. The four big drawers have random supplies. This has ribbons. This has ribbons in this. This one has uh, all the background stamps, all these beautiful background stamps are here. This is full of flowers and this is some absolute random stuff. The top of this uh, is again very aesthetically designed. I have a hashtag create and few of the other pictures. These are very beautiful pictures. My daughter and my husband here, I have put some lovely quotes and this looks very beautiful. I also have a VI Memory Keepers uh, typewriter which is placed right here. 
moving ahead, I have this uh, table and uh, this stores all my nail art supplies and I just love it. So this is tucked right here. Next to it is my daughter's table. She studies here and all her supplies are nicely kept here. I've deliberately kept it so that she is involved in my crafting as well as I can just be with her for the maximum amount of time. So now we come here and this is the island which is placed at the center of my room and I really love working here and uh, usually I stand and work here. That's my little Shih Tzu sitting there. So let's go in details and check out what is what all is stored in this island. So again, um, I have some drawers which are full of stamps and I have labeled them. So these are some old stamps which I absolutely adore. So I've kept that. I was a design team member for Vimzy and I have a lot of supplies from them. So that is kept here. My penny black. So this is a drawer full of lawn fawn supplies and uh, I have the catalog, everything. So all these dyes and everything is kept here. And this is a drawer full of adhesives and uh, again next to my workplace. This is a drawer full of duct tape. So my daughter uses it all the time. So I've kept two of, my, two of these IKEA trolleys under the table so that I can just quickly fill them up and move them to the work surface. So this drawer is full of all the card pieces and uh, I've cut them into this size and stored them. Next, I have an empty drawer and this one is full of my adhesives. Uh, this drawer is full of stickers and some cute stuff. If we come on the other side of the table, here is all my photography equipment. And all my drying tools and uh, glue guns. This is my chargers and extra stuff by Prima. So now coming uh, on the other side of the table, this is another trolley which I've stacked here and this is my most most important trolley. Here are all my card bases, then all the fun papers which I use to cut out uh, sentiment uh, dies. Then all are, these are all the papers which I use all the time. So I showed you all the stocks and these are the tiny ones, my Iris, my Bristol, Gina K, Express, Arches, Brush, Brusho, Fabriano, all these papers are right here. So then these are my uh, pre-cut card bases or card panels, you can say. So I just like to use this and maybe paste it on a card base so as to create my card. And then I do the stamping and all the other fun. These are some tissue papers. So under this... I have my most most favorite black inks and other inks which I use. These, this is the Distress Ink Antique Linen which I use for my no line coloring. Then the Memento Black. Then these are my absolute favorite for no line coloring which are the Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink in Whisper and in uh, Barely There. Then this is a new ink, Hybrid Ink. Then my Versafine Ink and my Stazon Ink. So these are the absolute favorite inks which I keep here. And I also keep the Versafine uh, Black Onyx ink here for my stamping. Then this is my golden embossing powder here. Then uh, some of this uh, post-it tape for my masking. These are my glues. Then I have this little box for my splatters and uh, other things. Then uh, this is a coffee filter. And uh, coming on the side, I have my alt new pens all my zig color clean color markers then my koi color markers so i love exploring new mediums and i mix and match all of them so i keep mixing them and these are always next to me so with this uh, the entire stuff on the island uh, is sorted so with this uh, we come to the end of this craft room tour and I totally feel blessed to have all these beautiful supplies with which I can uh, create some wonderful projects. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this uh, room tour and if you did do not uh, hesitate to comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you wish to see any detailed 
video of any of the sections let me know and i'll be more than happy to shoot it for you thank you so much once again see you soon bye bye god bless